Welcome to Impartial Points and our exploration of the Paris Agreement. In this discussion, we will break down what the Paris Agreement is, the ambitious goals it sets for tackling climate change, the commitments required from countries, the role of private companies, why this global accord is so important, and some of the reasons why it's falling short of its targets. The Paris Agreement is one of the most significant international efforts to address climate change, and understanding its complexities can help us appreciate both its potential and its challenges. So, let's dive right in. Part 1. What is the Paris Agreement? The Paris Agreement is a landmark international treaty that was drafted in the weeks leading up to December 12, 2015, during the 21st Conference of the Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, held in France, known as COP21. It officially came into force on November 4, 2016, and has since been signed by more than 190 countries, making it one of the most widely adopted international accords in history. The primary objective of the Paris Agreement is to combat climate change and to accelerate and intensify the actions and investments needed for a sustainable low-carbon future. Just a quick note before we get started. All temperature measurements are in Celsius. Part 2. The Goals of the Paris Agreement The Paris Agreement sets several goals aimed at limiting the impact of climate change. These goals are essential to ensure a stable and sustainable future for our planet. There are more, but the key targets include Limit global warming to below 2 degrees Celsius. The central aim of the Paris Agreement is to keep the increase in global average temperature well below 2 degrees above pre-industrial levels. Ideally, it aims to limit the temperature rise to 1.5 degrees, which scientists believe would significantly reduce the risks and impacts of climate change. Achieve net zero emissions by mid-century. Another crucial goal is to reach net zero greenhouse gas emissions by around 2050. This means that any emissions produced would need to be offset by measures that remove them from the atmosphere, such as reforestation or carbon capture technologies. Strengthen climate resilience and adaptation. The agreement also focuses on enhancing the ability of countries to adapt to the adverse effects of climate change. This includes building climate-resilient infrastructure, protecting natural ecosystems, and supporting vulnerable communities in coping with extreme weather events. Mobilize financial resources. Developed countries have committed to providing financial support to developing nations, with a goal of mobilizing $100 billion per year. This funding is intended to help developing countries transition to renewable energy sources and build climate resilience. Part 3. What countries have to do to be part of the Paris Agreement. To be part of the Paris Agreement, countries must commit to certain obligations. These commitments are outlined in the form of Nationally Determined Contributions, or NDCs. Here's what countries are required to do. Submit nationally determined contributions. Every signatory country must submit a climate action plan known as an NDC. Each country sets its own goals in these plans. These plans detail each country's specific goals for reducing greenhouse gas emissions and outline the measures they will take to achieve these targets. Countries are expected to update their NDCs every five years, with each new submission being more ambitious than the last. Implement domestic climate policies. Countries must implement domestic policies to attempt to meet their NDC targets. This could involve transitioning to renewable energy, improving energy efficiency, investing in sustainable infrastructure, and enacting laws to limit emissions from industries and vehicles. Monitor and report progress. Transparency is a key principle of the Paris Agreement. Countries are required to regularly report their greenhouse gas emissions and the progress they are making toward their NDCs. These reports are subject to international review to ensure accountability. Participate in global stock takes. Every five years, the agreement includes a global stock take to assess the collective progress toward achieving the long-term climate goals. This process is intended to encourage countries to step up their climate ambitions. There's a hope of creating a climate race, similar to the space race. Part 4. The Role of Private Companies in the Paris Agreement While the Paris Agreement primarily focuses on the commitments of governments, Private companies also play a crucial role in achieving its goals. Here's how. Corporate Sustainability Goals Many companies are aligning their business strategies with the targets of the Paris Agreement by setting their own climate goals. This includes pledging to reach net zero emissions, using 100% renewable energy, and reducing their carbon footprint through sustainable practices. Investment in Green Technology Some companies are investing heavily in research and development of green technologies, Innovations like electric vehicles, renewable energy solutions, and energy-efficient products are helping to reduce emissions in various sectors. Carbon offsetting. 
Some companies are investing in carbon offset programs, which involve funding projects that reduce or capture carbon emissions, such as reforestation efforts or renewable energy projects in developing countries. Supply chain management. Private companies are also looking at their entire supply chains to reduce emissions. This includes sourcing materials sustainably, optimizing logistics, and working with suppliers who share the same climate goals. Many of these steps align with the company's pursuit of a bigger bottom line, and sometimes they are given tax incentives to participate in achieving goals. Part 5. Why the Paris Agreement is Important The Paris Agreement is a crucial step in the fight against climate change for several reasons. Global cooperation. Climate change is a global problem that requires a global solution. The Paris Agreement is significant because it brings together nearly every country in the world to tackle this issue collectively and allows countries to work in their own ways. Setting a clear target. By setting specific temperature targets well below 2 degrees, the agreement provides a clear and measurable goal. This helps guide national policies, investments, and international cooperation, encouraging innovation and investment. The agreement has spurred a wave of innovation in renewable energy and green technologies. Governments and businesses are investing in sustainable solutions that will help reduce emissions, create jobs, and help economic growth. Protecting vulnerable communities. Climate change disproportionately affects poorer nations and vulnerable communities. By focusing on adaptation and resilience, the Paris Agreement seeks to protect those who are most at risk from the impacts of climate change. Part 6. Why the Paris Agreement isn't accomplishing its goals Despite its ambitious targets, the Paris Agreement faces several challenges that are hindering its success. Here are some of the key reasons why it is struggling to meet its objectives. Lack of enforcement mechanisms One of the biggest criticisms of the Paris Agreement is that it lacks enforceable penalties for countries that fail to meet their NDC targets. This reliance on voluntary commitments can lead to countries setting less ambitious targets or failing to meet their existing pledges. Insufficient national commitments. Many countries' NDCs are not ambitious enough to achieve the goal of limiting global warming to 1.5 degrees. According to recent reports, the world is currently on track for a temperature rise of around 2.7 degrees by the end of the century if current policies continue. Financial shortfalls. The commitment to mobilize $100 billion annually for developing countries was not met by the deadline. This lack of funding hinders the ability of poorer nations to transition to renewable energy and build climate resilience. Economic and political barriers. The transition to a low-carbon economy requires significant changes in industries, energy systems, and consumer behavior. This can be politically challenging, especially in countries where fossil fuels play a major economic role. In many countries, private industry pressures the government to look the other way on environmental harm. Impact of global events. Geopolitical tensions, economic crises, and pandemics can divert attention and resources away from climate action. For example, the COVID-19 pandemic temporarily reduced emissions, but also led to delays in climate negotiations and a resurgence of fossil fuel use. In conclusion, the Paris Agreement is a groundbreaking effort to unite the world in the fight against climate change. It sets ambitious targets and encourages global cooperation, innovation, and investment in a sustainable future. However, without enforceable mechanisms, adequate funding, and stronger national commitments, the world is at risk of falling short of its climate goals. The journey toward a sustainable future is challenging, but understanding the complexities of agreements like Paris is a crucial step in pushing for stronger climate action. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into the Paris Agreement. We hope this discussion has shed light on both the potential and the challenges of global climate efforts. We hope you found this discussion informative and insightful. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the world of information at your fingertips.